Thanks for staying with us at STL Live. I'm Jade Harrell. My guests are from Rebuilding Together St. Louis. Rebuilding Together St. Louis has been touching the community by rehabbing over 3,000 homes and 60 community centers throughout St. Louis for more than 25 years. Each year, over 1,500 volunteers are deployed throughout the metro area to revamp 40 to 50 homes in a single day. Welcome Executive Director Dave Irvin and the President of the Board of Directors, Barry Upchurch. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having us. Yeah. My goodness, what an undertaking you have yeah. and the impact you've made, tremendous. Yeah. I tell you, this is just an exciting time to be at um, this organization. I mean, we're 25 years. We just celebrated that in October, the kickoff for a complete year of celebration, right, Dave? Right. Complete yes. Con congratulations Thanks. to Thanks. you for that. So for those who don't know, let's introduce Rebuild, say, Rebuilding uh -huh. uh, St. Louis to the people who have not met or are reintroduced to those who know. Yeah. Sure. It's, it's, a, it's a very simple concept, and it's fun, and it's exciting for the volunteers. We are a volunteer-based agency. Okay. And what we do is we provide free home repair for low-income folks, nice. mostly seniors and disabled and veterans. Mm -hmm. And we put together these volunteer teams, and the donations come from individuals and corporations and organizations, and that pays for the lumber and the supplies. Right. And, and we go into a home, and we do the things that they can't do anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, they have plumbing leaks, and they will have front decks that are dangerous or basement stairs that are dangerous. So we go in, and we do this all in one day, one team one. per house. And we have two big rebuilding days a year where they go in and get all this done in one day. Amazing. In, in May and in October, we yeah. go in and, and, uh, with, uh, and we're able to help about 100 homeowners a year with all kinds of projects. That's tremendous. So this is uh, May 4th is going to be our rebuild this spring. And we work with a lot of corporations and individuals who will donate money to us. Sure. And actually, it's a great thing for the corporations because they get to do these team building exercises. Yeah. And a lot of times, the people who end up like leading the show are not the executives. <laughs> it's the other. It's the other people that know okay. how to swing a hammer That's or paint right. a brush. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, to be able to mobilize these numbers is pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, after 25 years, mm -hmm. you've gotten it down to a science. How have things evolved in other ways from your uh, your onset, your initial years, to now? Yeah. Well, the in the early years, we would say that what we did was light home repair. Okay. So it would be things that uh, semi-skilled volunteers would do. And as the years went by, more volunteers would become involved with us. Now we have some uh, generous funding for people where we can do actually volunteer work and some contracting work. We're able to put on some new roofs, uh, do some plumbing stacks and new electrical service panels and HVAC things that we yeah. wouldn't ask volunteers to do. Amazing. So uh, the, the big evolution over the years is the amount uh, of impact we can put into a house. For sure, for the, sure. The thing that's amazing about it is, and this is the reason why I uh, came on board, is the staff is so lean for what they do. And every dollar that we take in, it's like compounded four times because of the impact of the volunteers. Right. And these 1,500, or I think we're probably up to 2,000 this year. Amazing. It's amazing. And a lot of people come back, and then they become house captains. And a lot of these people are experienced in the trades. We also have a phenomenal relationship with the unions. I think we have four unions that are like mm -hmm. committed to organization. Brilliant. And they were part of the awards that we gave out at um, Armstrong Teasdale event that we had in October of this last year, recommending them and Boeing, Emerson, uh, Charter, Spectrum. I mean, I could just wow. go through wow. a huge list yeah. of the banks that we're involved with. So we're very blessed having the people that are committed sure. to helping people that just need a little help today. Now, Barry, you've been um, committed to community for as long as I've known you, not mm -hmm. 25 years, no mm -hmm. less. Uh, why do you think it's working with so many great partners? You know, we talked, I started with actually Flint Fowler yeah. and the Boys and Girls Club and was there 10 years and still a board emeritus with that. And uh, I really like to go in and work in an environment that just really has an impact upon helping children and the American dream and people kind of right. be successful. And lots of folks share that vision. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk a lot more about that mm -hmm. and the upcoming events and definitely where the idea started in the first place when we come back. Stay with us at STL Live. We'll have more with Dave Irvin and Barry Upchurch with Rebuilding Together St. Louis right after this break.